The result caps off a miserable week for Nuno's men after the Wembley heartache last Sunday. The manager's misery was clear to see after the game. When he was questioned on Wolves stuttering away form, he prematurely ended his press conference. Many neutrals have criticized the Portuguese boss for his prickly attitude but the Molino messes are standing by their men. Here's how the Wolves fans reacted to Nuno's press conference dramatics. At Tom Thorpe 94, Nuno's reaction in his press conference shows he's hurting as much as anyone else's, if you see that as a bad thing you're a muppet, it's passion the blow cares and I bet the whole squad are hurting. We will bounce back we always do under Nuno at Nick Ford Wolves, can anyone who is giving Nuno grief please not turn up at Molino next week you're not welcome. Go lock yourselves in a dark room and give your head a wobble at Wolf Dingle. Think that's a culmination of the past six days? Must be horrible after a defeat. Think the whole team need to go away to Spain. Again they look tired second half. Another summer of smart signings should sort this team out. Elder Costa is not an impact sub. We're eighth in the Prem with it all to play for still. If you'd given me that at the start of the season I'd have taken it. At Adri, Nuno should be looking to the games against Brighton and Fulham with a different system in mind. It's clear the wide formation is completely nullified against those sort of teams, good chance to trial something different for next season. At Chris Will 85, this is the first time I have seen Nuno proper lose his cool but is probably a culmination of two bad performances in a week. A small squad which doesn't help us and need to bring quality in so we have options at the bench. Let's finish as strong as possible and invest at edge kettle, cracks showing here from Nuno. Tough to watch. Thankfully results have gone our way but even if they hadn't, we've still got to consider this season a success. Now isn't the time to lose our head at Wolves first, got to love Nuno's passion, anyone thinking you can't dish it out when it's needed is so mistaken at Joey290896, not like Nuno to storm out of a press conference, especially when the point raised wasn't even a bad from from the Giorno. Him at Sam160, not one since Everton away. Nuno clearly feeling the heat a bit as he stormed out of his press conference mini-match report arguably Wolves' poorest week under Nuno Espirito Santos got a little worse as they were handily beaten by the Saints on the south coast. Wolves were behind for much of the game after former Blues man Nathan Redman gave the home side an early lead after beating Roman Says to turn home a center. That seemed to wake up the visitors up and they richly deserved their equalizer when Willy Bully crashed in a header just before the half-hour mark. Wolves parody lasted less than two minutes when more slack defending allowed Redmond to lift the ball over Rui Patricio for his second. Image, Getty Images, that goal served as a sucker punch for Nuno's men who should have conceded twice more before the break. After halftime, Wolves dominated the ball and created a few chances. None better than Raul Jimenez who contrived to hit a volley out for a throw in when the 3,000 strong away end were waiting for the net to bulge. They pressed on but the game was sealed when former Baggies forward Shane Long expertly angled a shot away from the brilliant Patricio. That goal took all the fight out of the visitors and they scarcely threatened again. The only positive for Wolves was that all of their competitors for 7th failed to capitalize on their poor result. What Nuno said, it was a bad game and bad performance, right from the start of the game, he said. The only moment that we played was from the moment they scored until we equalized. The second half was a bad performance. We conceded too many situations to Southampton. Southampton are a very good team, but we gave them too much, Nuno will now jet his players off to Marbella for a week-long training camp before the meeting with Brighton at Molino on Saturday. The head coach is keen for his players to get the necessary vitamin D to recover from defeats to Watford and Southampton, although he was keen to clarify the trip was scheduled before the FA Cup semi-final defeat. He added, just to clarify it was something we planned one month ago. 
We have to go, work hard, regroup and face these challenges. We have to react and go back again. The opposition verdict Saints boss Ralph Hassan Huddle felt his side made a big step during the win over Wolves and that his philosophy is beginning to bear fruits. We knew that we can make a big step today. That was our big goal today, to show our fans that we were very concentrated from the first minute on winning this game, he reflected. Image, PA, I think we had the perfect start to this game. After this start, we were a bit too much defending on the back foot but after the equalizer, it was good that we had the switch in our game again because we knew exactly that it was not enough to wait, it was not a coincidence that we immediately made the second goal. I think the guys could have scored more today. We had a lot of philosophy things. We will show them again and again because that's what we want to be. We want to be a team who is pressing to win the ball early and immediately switching forward. We did this today in a good way, which was massive against this team. For all your latest Wolves news, opinion, analysis and transfer gossip, click here.